I'm telling you, the Department of Education, they're making, like, they're making, they're making, they're going to make young people. They're going to make young people so depressed and so upset and so annoyed. Because I'm, yeah, I'm very annoyed. I'm very worried about this. I'm saying this straight. I'm um, about going back. I have one more year to go. I have to leave and sort this year. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure alone. Going in to try and do your leaving, so it's a lot of pressure this year. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure completely. And that's one thing. And then dyslexic, this, being dyslexic in top of it. You know, it's hard. It's difficult. I'm not, and this is even going to, this is just putting, you know, it's put like, I, I, you know, I'm debating, I'm debating all together now about everything. You know, because it's just, you know, there's no point stressing yourself, and I suffer with anxiety a bit too. And there's no point in worrying yourself sick. It's no, because you end up mentally sick. End up mentally and physically sick, and wear the mask in the classroom, which is what they want really, and um, which is what they really are aiming to do. They're saying this says in today FM. Um, we'll leave a link in the description, and um, to the article. Where am I here? Just take the article. I just copy the article before I forget. Schools might allow breaks for mass students. It's not just. It's a brilliant country. Just you can go outside. Oh. You know, I never, I never seen such, I never seen such crack in my life. Well, like the, the impact, like wearing a mask, it, it's all well and good. It's all well and good. Let's be honest. But wearing a mask, you know, for a whole class, majority of classes are forty minutes. Like, let's be honest, forty minutes of class in secondary schools. You know, you'd be dead. You'd be dead. You'd be literally dead. People don't spend forty minutes in shops. At least, uh, as far as I know, they don't spend forty minutes in shops. Um. Like, you know, you couldn't wear a mask for 40 minutes in a, in a closed, in a closed space, because many of these schools don't have air conditioning or have no really ventilation system. Um, and nobody, no parents or nothing's really standing, there's no pushback, you know, there's no pushback. Um, and, you know, there's talk, there's talk in Dublin this morning that there's an outbreak of COVID-19 in a crash, which I wouldn't be surprised because this government couldn't manage apples on eggs because they couldn't like you know they messed up the meat factories they messed up the whole Norse homes like they messed up is not even the word for the Norse homes they absolutely fucked up everything in the Norse homes like they like they, they, they talked to all prepared the only places they have been outbreaks is in the prisons and um, again they worried more about pedophiles and things that they're protecting them more than they're protecting the only man and the only woman um, and it's only a matter of time and I'm saying this I'm not trying to sit fine for people god knows that's what I'm not trying to do but it's only a matter of time, it's only logic, because it happened in Germany. They opened the schools, three or four schools had a big outbreak. They closed the schools again in some parts. Um, and it's only going to happen, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. It's, it's just too much hassle. Just too much. And they keep just pushing more stuff. Like, you know, it's it's stressful enough. Again, I can't emphasize this to no affair. Because they won't ask, they won't ask people like me. You know, no local media or anything like that will come near me. Because they'll be that afraid that I say something against the state. And it'll be so terrifying that they wouldn't want me in it. Um, but yeah, it's just the, it's the truth. Young people suffer enough. This, the majority of young people in this country are depressed. And have anxiety and everything like that. Because the system is just crooked. This system here is just put pressure on young people every 10 minutes of the day. It's not helping them. It's not helping them. Then putting this pressure on them. Having the way to wear masks correctly and this, that, and you don't going around to a seat, but be going around half the country to go to get to your seat. And then they go to the toilet, so probably be a big bloody. Probably have to go and do a football match, and then do another football match to get into, your, into the toilets. You know, it's got to be the biggest. It's got to be the biggest nuisance ever in the corridors. I go to school with nearly 800 people. That's a lot. That's a you know, that's town school. That's one of the most populated schools in Calvin. And you know how are you? How in the name of God are you going to do it? There's not enough. There's no teachers. There's no teachers. I'm saying this straight. Every school in Calvin is looking for extra staff. The money's there, but there's nobody to take it because there's no teachers in this country. There's no staff. Nobody wants to walk. There's no caretakers because they won't take the money that's been given to them because it's very little. You get more in the army, and that's saying something. It's just you know. It's just you know, It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Then you have Leo the other day saying, oh, there's going to be an outbreak in the schools. They're trying to worry young people sick. And this is the thing. It's worrying young people. It's worrying young people. Um, especially people going into leaving sort. It's a lot. It's just very stressful. I couldn't care less if I got one mark in my leaving sort. I, the only thing at the end of the day I care about is my health. Because your health's your out. You can always do another exam. To hell with the exam. You can do another exam anytime. But your health is your out. And you can't jeopardise that. And you can never get another... You can, you can never get more lungs or you can never get anything like that. Your health's your world. As long as you have your health and you're happy. 
Then what about it? What about it? Simple as that. Because it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just cock and bull story, and that's as simple as that. It's a cock and bull story, and I'm not blaming the school. I'm blaming the government. I'm blaming the beckoning government, because you know people want your parents pay a lot of money to send their kids um in insurance and everything like that this year, that they pay every year, um to the government to the state, and it's supposed to be free education. Let me tell you, but yeah, this country doesn't know anything about free education, but yeah, just putting it straight. If the, if this if right was right and wrong was wrong, right, you know there should be only a few people brought into the school at a time. That's not go that doesn't look like it's going to happen. And I might just say straight, they have the Department of Education. I was in touch with them the other day. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like they're going to bring in a whole fucking school. They're going to bring in everybody. They're going to bring in Tom, Dick, and Harry, because you know what? Logic, logic. This country is full of logic. They said the sea's going to world, but do you know what? Logic. Let's bring in everybody. Bring in 800 people. Double the schools, God forbid. 3,000, 4,000 people in one school in Dublin and one side of Dublin. You know, God bless us and save us. Only about 300 or 400 teachers. Like, and they can't get any more. You know, and half of them are ret nearly retirement age. And it's, it's a la it's a joke that this country, you know, for so long to push teachers to the limit. And they'll kick teachers out of this country because they couldn't pay them. They wouldn't pay them. It's not that they couldn't pay them. They just couldn't be bothered to pay them. Um, and they just kick them out. They're all in Australia and New Zealand. They're making millions and millions. They're making more money than this country ever gave them. And it's just like, you know, getting the bit Because my head, you know, it's just like this. Is, you know, I'm sorry to keep talking, but it just is a huge worry for me. And it's a huge annoyance that the government can't make up their mind. On what they want to do. And they haven't already said to the young people about you. This is going to be the way. They have said there's going to be changes. It's not just great. The government just like. There's going to be changes. We don't know what they are going to be. But there's going to be changes. You know just. Leo and me whole. Me whole. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. <laughs> like just get in the bin. Because you know the bin's a lot better place to be. At this moment in time. Than in any bloody state facility. Um, so yeah thank you.